Hello guys, welcome to the reinforcement learning series. In this video, we're going to solve the cardboard problem using cross entropy. But before proceeding, make sure you have watched the cross entropy video in the reinforcement learning series. And uh, if you have not yet, then please go and watch that video first. And then we'll proceed with this. So let's begin. So first we are going to import the libraries, import gym collections import name triple and import numpy and of course start as we are going to implement neural network and import torch and of course torch dot optim as it is a package that will help in implementing various optimization algorithms and here it is so uh, like one hidden layer with rectified linear unit uh, relu and 128 hidden neurons and uh, Hidden size that is going to be 128, and um, the count of episode we play on every iteration 16, and uh, and the percentile of episodes total reward that we use for elite episode filtering. We will take the 70th percentile, which means that we will leave the top 30 percent of episodes sorted by reward. So percentile 70. And now we will implement our neural network. Observation size, hidden size, and actions. So, as we are going to do some modification over here. Sequential linear and operation size and the hidden size. Okay, and the second would be a redo layer, and the last would be number of actions. Okay. Here we go. So basically there is nothing special about our neural network. It takes a single observation from environment as an input vector and outputs a number of every action we can perform. The output from the neural network is a probability distribution over actions. So a straightforward way to proceed would be to include softmax nonlinearity after the last layer. However, in the preceding neural network, we don't apply softmax to increase the numerical stability of the training process rather than calculating softmax, which uses exponentiation and the calculating cross entropy loss, which uses a logarithmic of probabilities. We can use the PyTorch class uh, like n and dot uh, cross entropy loss and which combines both softmax and cross entropy in a single operation okay so so now we will initialize our episode step and episode so let's do it so first is episode and episode so field names are going to be rewards and step so 
So here we go. And episode step. And here field names are going to be observation and actions. observation and action that's it so basically the episode step so this will be used to represent one single episode that our agent made in the episode and it stores the observation from the environment and what action the agent completed we will use episode steps from elite episode as training data and the second one and the first one this episode this is a single episode stored as total undiscounted reward and a collection of episode step so now we'll make a function to iterate over the batches so let's begin so function name iterate batches okay environment neural network batch size and few things to initialize the batch episode reward and episode steps directly the most important thing and uh, observation and uh, of course our softmax function okay so basically this function accepts the environment our neural network and the count of episode it should generate on every iteration the batch variable will be used to accumulate our batch and which is a list of episode instances and we also declare a reward counter for the current episode and its list of steps the episode step objects then we reset our environment to obtain the first observation and create a softmax layer which will be used to convert the neural network's output to a probability distribution of actions so we will start iterating while loop will be there and oops okay so here are observations so at every iteration we convert our current observation to a pytorch tensor and pass it to neural network to obtain action probabilities so first our pytorch tensors and here we go Okay, and turn it into action probabilities and pass it to the neural network and also apply the softmax operation and uh, let's convert it and here are action probabilities. So finally action probabilities dot data dot numpy and okay now so all neural network module instances in pytor expect a batch of data items and the same is true for our neural network so we convert our observation which is a a vector of four numbers in card pool into a tensor of size say one into four to achieve this we pass an observation in a single element list as we haven't used non-linearity at the output of our neural network it outputs raw actions code which we need to feed through the softmax function so here you can see that both our neural network and the softmax layer return tensor that track gradient so we need to unpack this by accessing the tensor data field and then converting the tensor into numpy array as we saw in the last step so this array will have the same two dimension structure as the input 
with the batch dimension on the axis 0 so we need to get the first batch element to obtain a one dimensional vector of action probabilities now the we will choose the actions Okay, next observation, A reward, so this is simple things, yesterday before, and environment step, the perform action, okay, so this is a very simple thing and it's very clear, now we have the probability distribution of action. We can use it to obtain the actual action for the current step by sampling the distribution using numpy's function that is a random choice here. And uh, after this we will pass this action to the environment to get our next observation, our reward and the indication of episode ending. So now we will add our rewards. To the episode reward here we go step the episode step and to the observation we'll pass our observation and to the action we will pass the action okay and finally we will append the step to the episode step so here we go and uh, the reward is added to the current episodes total reward and our list of episode step is also extended with an observation action pair so we save the observation that was used to choose the action but not the observation returned by the environment as a result of the action so this is an important thing so this is a very important detail and that you must keep in your mind and now let's see so let's check whether the episode is done or not or say like whether it is had ended or not so in case if it ended so the episode reward that is now we will have the episode reward sorry okay and steps the episode steps so everything is already clear we just have to put the variable values we will append into the batch the episode and episode reward we will again initialize to zero and make the episode steps again empty and definitely the observation the next observation will get updated so we will update the environment so reset it and if the length of, this is the most important condition if length of batch is equal to batch size then we will yield out a batch and again initialize that an empty batch so this is how we handle the situation when the current episode is over and uh, in case of cart port the episode ends with the stick has fallen down despite our efforts we append the finalized ep episode to the batch saving the total reward uh, as the episode has been completed and we have accumulated all the reward and steps we have taken then we reset our total reward or accumulator and clean the list of steps after that we reset our environment to start over so in our case batch has reached the desired count of episodes we return it to the caller for processing using yield uh, our function is the generator so every time the yield operator is executed the control is transferred to the outer iteration loop and then continues after the yield line so that is what is happening now now the most important step observation will be 
updated whatever is going to be the next observation so this is a very important step in our loop is to assign an observation obtained from the environment to our current observation variable after that everything repeats infinitely we pass the observation to the neural network same the action to perform uh, sorry sample the action to perform uh, and ask the environment to process the action and remember the result of this processing so the important fact to understand this is the the function logic is that the training of our neural network and the generation of our episodes are performed at the same time so they are not completely in parallel but every time our loop accumulates enough episodes it passes control to this function caller which is supposed to train the neural network using gradient descent so when yield is returned the neural network will have different slightly better behavior and uh, we don't need to explore uh, proper synchronization as our training and data gathering activities are performed at the same thread of execution but you need to understand those constant jumps from uh, neural network training to its utilization so let's create our filter function so here we go the batch and the percentile going to filter out so rewards we'll take out the reward from the batch and uh, reward boundary which is going to be the percentile reward mean and we will take the mean of the rewards we have now okay so now this function is at the core of the cross entropy method from the given batch of episodes and percentile value it calculates boundary reward which is used to filter the elite episodes to train on and to obtain boundary reward we will use numpy's percentile function which from the list of values and the desired uh, percentile calculate the percentiles value then we will calculate the mean reward which is used only for the monitoring process and we will initialize our list for the observation train observation train actions and we will iterate over the batch for reward and steps in batch okay and if reward is less than the reward uh, reward boundary and then we will continue Oops. and we will take the observation that is we will filter out we will take the observation from the steps uh, that we have so we will use the map function okay let's pick the observation we have earlier and same way we will collect the actions uh, step action from steps okay so this was an important part so what we did over here is like we filter off our episodes for every episode in the batch we will check that the episode has high total reward than our boundary and if it has we will populate list of observation and action that we will train on and now we're going to perform the final step that is uh, we will convert our observation and action from elite episode that we collected so in and 
we convert it into tensors and return a tuple of four that is uh, observation action the boundary of reward and the mean reward so let's do it so first let's convert it this is our train observation let's store it to a value observation okay load tensor training observations okay and same way train action torch load tensor and train action okay so finally we will return our train observation train actions Oops. and the reward bound and mean reward okay so now the further step are very easy so we will initialize the environment in our case it is card pole gem make card pole version zero okay and of course we want to monitor all the process so we will use our wrapper function also uh, to monitor the whole process and uh, our environment directory okay we will initialize this recording okay oops and if it's already there then overwrite okay and the observation size we are going to take over here is i think these things are already clear discussed before and observation space dot shape zero and uh, the number of actions this is going to be action space n okay and uh, the neural network neural network observation size and uh, hidden size and and actions wrong spelling okay now it's clear so now the objective function that is we have here in our cases cross entropy loss okay initialized and of course optimizer the autumn atom optimizer and let's initialize that also Neural parameters and learning rate is going to be say 0 0.01 and now we will loop and we will iterate our batches then we perform filtering of episodes so let's do it and the batch enumerate and i trade sorry i trade batches okay fine and inside i trade batches we should initialize the environment neural network and the batch size we have and um, definitely the what we get uh, from the filter batch function is the observation actions and uh, reward bound and mean reward definitely 
filter batch so inside filter batch will pass batch and percentile okay so uh, as like i said before we will iterate our batches a list of episode object and then we perform filtering of our elite episode using the filter batch function and the result is variables of observation taken action the reward boundary used for filtering and the mean reward after that we zero gradients of our neural network and pass observation to the neural network obtaining its action score so these scores are passed to the objective function which will we will calculate cross entropy between neural network output and the actions that agent took the idea is to reinforce our neural network to carry out those elite actions that have led to good rewards. Then we calculate our gradients on the loss and ask the optimizer to adjust our neural network. So let's do this. This happen in very simple steps. Optimizer. Oops. Zero. The gradients okay and we will get the action from the neural network action scores observation okay and then we'll calculate the loss using the objective function that we have cross entropy and that is between action scores that we gather from the neural network and of course the action that agent took that is actions underscore v okay then we'll perform a back propagation okay and tell our neural network to adjust the weights accordingly and post that uh, the most important thing we should do is to also print what is happening like the loss but first the iteration number uh, what we have okay and loss that is uh, what is going to be loss v item and definitely reward mean that is definitely what we have here and of course the reward boundary initialize with the reward bound so here we have so now like the last check in the loop is the comparison of the mean rewards of our batch episodes when this becomes greater than 199 we stop our training so if reward greater than 199 we will print Solved. Okay, and we'll break out from the loop. That's it. So why 199? So in gym, the specifically the card pool environment is considered to be solved when the mean reward for the last hundred episodes is greater than 195. But our method converges so quickly that hundred episodes are usually what we need. The the properly agent can balance the stick infinitely, but the length of an episode in card pool is limited to 200 steps. With all this in mind, we will stop training after the mean reward in the batch is greater than 199, which is a good indication that our agent knows how to balance the stick like a pro. So let's execute it. Here we go. Okay. So it has started learning and trying to balance the stick. Okay, uh, agent trying its best, still falling, but still learning a little bit. 
Okay. So it's learning. Uh, the performance was better than before. So here it has learned. See, you can see it can perfectly balance it. So I think he has learned perfectly how to balance it. Okay, right. Awesome. So it is finally solved. And I hope this cardboard pop problem using cross drop is clear to you now. So thank you for watching the video. And please subscribe the channel and share the video. Thank you.